blackout. For today's video, I have some COD Blackout gameplay which was recorded from the beta, which is of course the Battle Royale game mode coming with the latest instalment of Call of Duty. I'm not a huge COD fan, I haven't played COD for a long time, but after playing the beta I was pleasantly surprised with the first impressions on the game uh, and on the Blackout game mode, and so I wanted to run through all of the ways I think Blackout is actually better than PUBG already, even though it was only the beta build of the game I played. So I think there's a few things to cover in this video. I am a big fan of PUBG. I play PUBG on Xbox One, so I know it's definitely not the most stable version of the game, but I've been playing it for some time and I've really enjoyed it. And when I heard that COD were releasing a Battle Royale game mode, to be honest, I just thought it was a gimmicky sort of addition to COD, and they were just trying to jump on the bandwagon and make some profit from a game mode which has already been done and is clearly very popular. I didn't expect it to be very good at all, but after playing the beta, I was surprised. It's actually really good, it plays really well, and of course this is only the beta version of the game, so it will be interesting to see what they can do in the full game. So to start with, I think the graphics are quite clearly better than PUBG, particularly on console. I know this might be different on PC because the PC version of PUBG is a lot better than obviously on console. But I think it's safe to say that the Call of Duty graphics uh, on Blackout are a lot better than those in PUBG. PUBG clearly isn't a game that is uh, well known for its for its graphics, so that's one area that undoubtedly card beats PUBG right off the bat. Second of all, looking at reliability, I think again this is something that people won't really dispute. You'd expect a card game to be much more reliable than PUBG. I know PUBG is getting much better, especially with the full release on Xbox, but even so, the frame rate isn't particularly stable. Playing the COD Blackout Beta, the frame rate seemed to be at a pretty solid 60 frames per second on Xbox, which is, it definitely can't be said for PUBG. I don't think it gets anywhere near 60 frames per second, and when there's a lot going on in frame, it can drop really low. So. That is one area that I think COD definitely beats PUBG. One more thing to look at is the gameplay itself. Um, PUBG, PUBG isn't bad with its gameplay and gunplay, but I know there's no aim assist and stuff and it'd be quite difficult to play, but I think COD has been known over the years for some really good, quick, fast and responsive gunplay. So I don't think anyone expects PUBG to be any better than COD really in that area. I know I haven't been playing COD a lot over the years, but it's just a well-known fact that the gunplay is quick, fast and responsive, and that's no different with Blackout here. After playing the beta, it was exactly as you'd expect. It was quick and sharp, really enjoyable, and that's a big thing for Battle Royale because you don't want players to be able to blame the game for, for them dying, which can often happen if the gunplay is not responsive enough. And what I found from playing Blackout is that you trust the way the guns work and the gunplay, how you aim, and so you don't blame the game when you die. You don't find yourself being as frustrated. You just accept it and join the game. So that's definitely one point to take from the COD Blackout is that the gunplay is much better than PUBG, in my opinion, and I think that's something that a lot of people will agree on. Finally, another thing to go over. I think the variation in Call of Duty Blackout in terms of Further gameplay and certain additions zone. to the game. This is one area that I think beats PUBG hands down. So when I talk about the variation, I mean things like the zombies, which are included in the game, the perks, which are a big thing Supply in Call of Duty. Incoming. They've managed to include those in the Battle Royale experience. And then the vehicles. The vehicles in Call of Duty, there's boats, uh, cars, quad bikes, similarly to PUBG. But then one thing they've got as well is helicopters, which I think will make for some really interesting scenarios in-game. That's one thing that it's got over PUBG, as well as obviously the zombies and the perks, all these things that aren't included in PUBG. I think these few additions will keep the game mode much more varied than PUBG will, and I think it will keep people coming back for more. And ultimately I think PUBG is really up against it here because they're going to have to do a lot of improving to 
keep people coming back to PUBG over say COD for example and obviously there's the Battlefield, Battle Royale mode coming out and obviously Fortnite as well, there's a lot of com competition in this area and I think PUBG, it's a shame to say it but I think it will struggle um, over the next year or so because there's so many other alternatives for gamers to play and many of them do well potentially will do the game the battle royale game mode much better than they do so it'll be interesting to see what happens over the coming months and years but I think these are just a few reasons that Call of Duty Blackout is actually better than PUBG already even in these early stages of the game so let me know what you guys think if you play PUBG or if you've played the Call of Duty Blackout game mode which you prefer for me I think Blackout has a lot of potential just let me know which is your favourite, which areas you prefer from each. It will be interesting to hear from you guys in the comments. Uh, thanks a lot for watching guys. I've actually got a full full gameplay of a Blackout game where I actually managed to win. So I'll link that down in the description and on my channel. Circle collapse imminent. Get to safety. Make sure to check that out. Thanks a lot for watching guys. I will see you in the next video. Secure. Good work.